The Oklahoma City Council voted yesterday to approve a mask requirement ordinance that would take effect immediately. There's been calls for a statewide mask mandate, something that you've said we're not at that point yet. I'm wondering if we're going to have a disagreement between the Oklahoma City City Council and your office in the way that we're having in Georgia between the governor and the mayor of Atlanta. Well, you know, I've said I'm not going to do a mask mandate statewide. We have some counties that have zero cases. We're not going to have a one size fit, fit all for the state. Uh, but we also haven't been heavy handed with our local uh, mayors, municipalities. Uh, they can be more restrictive than the state. Okay. That's up to the citizens to talk to their mayors. And uh, uh, it's very, uh, you know, people are on both sides of the aisle on that. But I'm not going to mandate something uh, that's unenforceable. And what are we going to do? Put people in jail because they don't wear a mask? I mean, it's just uh, we can't go down that road. One thing also that you can't mandate, interestingly enough, in Oklahoma, because of the way that the government is set up there and the schools are set up there, is you can't, as governor, mandate for schools to reopen. You can close them effectively, but can't have them open because the superintendent of schools is a separately elected official there. I'm wondering how you're looking at schools, but also at the University of Oklahoma, whether or not we're whether or not the Sooners are going to be playing football come fall. Well, we, we certainly hope so. Uh, you know, we, we hope that we've got football in the fall, that Oklahoma State, o uh, the University of Oklahoma would be playing. Uh, but, you know, we want our kids back in school in the fall. Again, Oklahoma has been open for the last 86 days. I've been going to sporting events for my children. Uh, we've been fully reopened in our state, uh, and we haven't seen the spike in hospitalizations that some of the epidemiologists predicted. Remember, they predicted we'd have 5,000 people in the hospital back in April, and today we have 550, and we're 86 days into our reopening. So uh, we want to we want to reopen schools. Uh, I issued uh, 30 million dollars to kind of bridge the gap mm -hmm. yesterday, uh, in case kids are working from home, uh, having to do uh, have to need technology needs. So we set up some uh, different grant programs for some of the underprivileged schools to be able to help with the technology. Yeah, the